ladies and gentlemen, thank you for once again tuning in and joining the revolution. My name is CM Burnham alongside my broadcast partner, the Arab legend, Al Farak. And again, we have a tremendous lineup for you tonight as we see the crowd here excited, pumped, and ready for all the action that we have got. Al, take a look. Look at what's coming up here tonight. Wow, I am so excited. Here we go again. The Von Erich versus the Arrow Club. I don't know. This is going to be a hot one, CM. It's the feud of the year between these two, and it is for the World Class Tag Team titles. We also have the ladies on hand as we've got Miranda and Tennille. In fact, we had a chance to catch up with Miranda before this match. Here's what she has to say. Hello, everybody. Miranda Alizé. And for those of you who don't know who I am, let me give you a little introduction. Not only did I compete in the first ever WWE Mae Young Classic, but I just got off of a three month Japan tour with the biggest women's wrestling company in the world. And tonight I'm here to stick my nose in everybody's business and take my spot on this card. I mean, why wouldn't I be here and look at me? I've got the look, I've got the body, I've got the athletic ability, and at the end of the day, I am what every single woman in every single locker room wishes they can be. Oh my God, CM, I am so in love. <laughs> well, she, she may look beautiful, but we know she is dangerous, and she's about to come out here and compete in this very ring, here we go, Miranda Alizé on her way to the ring. Oh, no, I take that back. First off, we have got Tanielle Dashwood making her way down. Tanielle Dashwood, one of the hottest women on the independent circuit today, as she has made it here to join the revolution. It is, as she would say, it's all about her. I'm so jealous of that t-shirt right now, CM. So, so jealous. You know, we don't agree on a lot of things, Al, but I'll agree with you there. I, I, I would gladly trade places with that t-shirt as it is. But make no mistake, as beautiful as she is, she is also a fierce, fierce competitor from the land down out under Melbourne, Australia, as she makes her way into the ring. And Tennille Dashwood signaling to the crowd that she is here, that she is ready to compete. But she definitely has her hands full as we heard the comments from Miranda Alizé. It's not gonna be a walk in the park for Tennille. Miranda Alizé. As she said, fresh off a tour of Japan. Also a participant in the Mae Young Classic. And Miranda Alizé with her game face on because she knows she's got her hands full with Tennille Dashwood. Red is my new favorite color, CM. Red is my new favorite color. Oh my. Well, Tennille certainly taking no step back. She knows what she's got to uh, got to handle here. These two girls are going to hook it up and tear it up. When we come back from these commercials, stay with us for more action. Immediately following Saturday Night Live on NBC, World Class Revolution brings you the brightest stars in pro wrestling and the next to rise, including the Von Erics, Iceman King Parsons, Jack Swagger, Taya Valkyrie, Chavo Guerrero Jr., MVP, Lisa Marie Varon, The Arrow Club, Scott Steiner, Boom the Bounty Hunter, and many more. Witness classic content and join the revolution as we travel the nation. Visit worldclassprowrestling.com for more info. World Class Revolution, starting June 2nd after SNL on NBC. And these two immediately tie it up, collar elbow tie up, and Tennille Dashwood straight to the standing wrist lock. 
Reversed out there by Miranda Alizade into a wrist lock of her own. Gonna turn that over into a, a hammer lock and now going into the front chancery. Both of these ladies obviously very proficient with scientific skill. They are here, they know that the marquee says wrestling and they are here showing that they can wrestle just as well as any of the men as Miranda Alizade gets to the ropes and forces the break. This, back to square one. This new generation of women's wrestling, I gotta tell you, it really, really is impressive. They can go par to par with the guys. You know, the, the ladies all across the world, the ladies have certainly taken a big step up within the past few years. And obviously, Miranda Alize, as she mentioned, with that tour of Japan, I think you know quite well, though the women in Japan train just like the men. They're just as tough as the men, if not, in some instances, tougher than. And so I'm sure she gained a lot of experience there. Yeah, but I think the experience here is what, it, it's what's gonna make the difference here. She's going up against a, a young lady with a lot of experience. Well, Alizé now sinking in that side headlock and controlling Dash. Well, was that a noogie? That was, I believe that was a noogie, but it was successful. She and just order, dissed her. She just dissed her. <laughs> in order to break that hold. And uh, now back to the standing hammer, the hammer lock, but Alizé reverses and then slides over. This is, this is good scientific chain wrestling. Don't let go of a body part without taking hold of another one. Alizé... Now with her arm forced behind her. Again, both of these women seem to come in here with the same game plan to work over the arms, sensing perhaps that's the, the weak point in each other. Something you don't see very much, classic chain wrestling. I'm really enjoying this, CM. I really am. Great display of that scientific chain style. A look at Dashwood with some lucha rolls to break that. Pretty impressive. And again, back to square one. A, a great the feeling out process here between these two. They, they came in, they had a, a game plan here. It's worked to a certain extent, but not as well as either of them would like. Oh, and now Alizé with a straight kick to the midsection. I think the scientific portion of this match is over. I didn't see that. I must have missed that. Were, were you blinking again? We're, we're really going to have to work on your eyesight, Al. But um, Miranda Alizé... Now just almost disrespectfully just shoving Dashwood down. And, and now Alice just, just beating on Dashwood. There's a pin attempt one, only good for one. Really, Dashwood way too close to the ropes, I think, for that to be an effective cover. Well, both ladies back to their feet. Tennille down, over, gonna cradle and hook the leg, and only good for one again. Oh, nice seated drop kick. Dashwood in with the cover again. I think she got two out of that one. You can tell she's been doing her homework with a lot of lucha style. That was oh, a very, very classic. And now style. Uh -oh. Dashwood looking to charge in, looking perhaps to, to go for that big flying body press she likes to do in the corner. And now off the ropes, down with a big axe handle. These girls can roughhouse it too, I'll tell you. Dashwood now showing that aggressive style. Chuck to the midsection. And she enjoyed that. She is absolutely adorable. I'm in love. I'm in love. Well, you wouldn't be loving it if she did that to you. You're probably I mean, right. You're probably right. Oh, and again. Oh. Ooh, that had to hurt. Right to the abs. And Tamil throwing Miranda back into the ring. But a little slow to follow up. Well, she dodges that. And now going to turn over standing Hangman's neck breaker on the outside over the ropes. And Dash went in with the cover. Can we have it here? No. Close, but no cigar. Very close there. And Miranda trying to call for a, basically for a timeout here, to telling the referee to back Dashwood up and complaining about the chops to the abs. Oh, and just as finger to the eye. What are you talking about? There were fingers that Miranda poked the Tennille in the eye. I think you're the one that needs glasses. I used to have them, but I don't need them anymore. And, and she, she's got a handful of hair. Come on, Al. You see that? No comment, as usual. All is, all is fair in love and war. All right, well, these two have gone past the love stage and definitely into the war stage as Miranda Alizé now seating, seated over Tennille. Keep the hands off the hair. Hands off the hair. 
And again, you can hear the referee admonishing Miranda, telling her to get the hands off the hair, which she does, but then a stomp to the back, stomp to the face. Now Miranda hooking Dashwood, but Dashwood, no, small package. Cradle in the middle, run two, and oh, oh. so close there. And Miranda not wasting any time to make sure that Tennille cannot follow that up. Pin attempt again, somewhat lackadaisical on the part of Miranda. She's got her in trouble now. She's got her in trouble. And off the hair. Alizé now with a chop, a receipt of sorts for the chops that came to her from Dashwood. Telling the audience to be quiet so they can hear the resonation. And now ramming Tennille's head into the top turnbuckle. What, what's she doing here? Warming herself up, psyching herself up, running in, standing drop kick. Corner to corner, oh, big running drop kick. This may be it, this may be it. This could well be it. Two, nope, still gas in the tank for Tennille Dashwood. Impressive, absolutely impressive. I really thought she had her. Playing with her now. Yeah, Alizé, this, this is a strange choice on her part. It may not have been the smartest choice, but she does remain in control. Alizé now introducing Tennille's head to the turnbuckles on both corners. And now gonna go for number three. Tennille blocks it. Kick to the midsection, drives Miranda back. And now Tennille returning the favor repeatedly. You can hear the crowd counting along there. Oh, now trapped in another corner. What's, oh, this, she's going for the tarantula. Wow, this I haven't one seen of her this. signature moves. Shades of Tajiri, shades of Tajiri. She has got that tarantula hooked on, but only long enough to break before that count of five. Doesn't want to get disqualified. I was in that move once and it's not fun. And Tennille now diving splash. Cross body in the corner. And this well could be it. Hooks the leg. Go, 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 go. Oh, there is a God. There is a God. Two and a half. And even Tennille looking at the referee, I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure I didn't get three? Miranda now breaking the up step up in Seguri. By Miranda. And a running. Wow. Wow. That, she, does, she, does she have her here? It, oh, man. That was a running diamond cutter. That was. And she came within about an eighth of a count away from being, from being able to win this match. That ref might not know how to count to three. I wonder if he's still a little shaken up from last week when Scott Steiner threw him out of the ring. And now perching Tennille on the top rope, perhaps looking to go for a superplex. Well, there's a headbutt. That's going to rock Tennille's world, a couple of them. What could she possibly be going for? Well, I think there's really only one choice here, and there we go. Hooking the leg, looking for the superplex, but Tennille able to block it somehow. And just shoves Miranda off. Tennille now on the top rope, high cross body. Takes down Miranda. And still not enough to keep her down. What is it gonna take to keep one of these two women down for the three count? Wow, what an amazing match. The fans are really into this. Hell, I'm into it. This is amazing. Now Dashwood waiting momentarily. Close for the kick. Trailed by Miranda. One, two, no. Code breaker by, by Miranda as well. Two. That's two two counts in a matter of approximately 20 seconds. Miranda has got to keep pushing this if she wants to get, get the win. I'm literally at the edge of my seat. Now just, just ramming the back of her head into the mat. Picking 
backing up to Neil. What's she gonna have in mind here? Well, whatever it was, it wasn't, it's not gonna happen now. Dashwood down, off the ropes. Yakuza kick. She may have her. And she does, he called it out. That's it. Woo. The winner of the match, Camille Dashwood. That deserves a Lord of mercy. Well, an amazing debut here in WCR for Tennille Dashwood, and I am sure that she, as well as many, many other women, are going to be making their way here to join the revolution. And these two have set a tremendous bar for all of them to measure up to. Fans, you saw at the beginning of the show, tonight you're going to see another chapter in the ongoing war between the Von Erichs, the World Class Tag Team Champions, and the Aero Club. And at this time, we're going to go to some comments that the Von Erichs had before the show began. Let's go and see what the two brothers have to say about their match. What's up, everybody? We're the Von Erichs. I'm Ross. This is my brother, Marshall. And we're the World Class Tag Team Champions. Man, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to do this with my brother. We've defended these belts a lot of places. Israel, UK, Japan, and all around the US. But we're not afraid to fight for these belts against anybody. You know, and we'll take all comers, because if you've got a face, it can get clawed. That's what we do, and that's the truth. Guys, a lot of you grew up watching World Class Championship Wrestling, and you saw Kerry, and David, Chris, Mike, and their father, Kevin. Now it's time that we at World Class Revolution introduce you to Marshall and Ross Von Eric. Fans, we're back here on World Class Revolution and standing by backstage right now, we have the World Class Heavyweight Champion, Jack Swagger and the beautiful Catalina. They're gonna be interviewed by Mean Gene Okerlund. Let's go hear what they have to say. In the circles that I travel in, they're talking about this one being the match of calendar year 2018. Folks, it's coming up. It involves the world-class revolution. Heavyweight champion of the world, Jack Swagger. Challenger, the man that you defeated for that title, MVP. It may be the match of the year, the match of 2018, MVP versus Jack Swagger for the world-class revolution heavyweight championship. Now, he's a great competitor. He really is a great he is. competitor. I'm not really sure that I would describe MVP as a great competitor. Okay. When on his off time, he's shooting rap videos while my husband is fighting. You know, Catalina, many are sourcing you as the inspiration, the direction, the guidance for the tremendous success that Jack Swagger is enjoying right now. Would you agree with that statement? Well, of course I'd have to agree with that statement. Behind every man, there's a smoking hot babe, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. And this man right here is the top of the top. And just like the cream, he rises to the top. Because this is one creamy man. Drink it in, ladies All right, and Jack Swagger, thank you for your kind words. Hate to cut you short. We are running short on time. Remember the match, world class, revolution. Heavyweight champion Jack Swagger, MVP, right around the corner. Well, fans, there we go. It's going to be a rematch for the World Class Heavyweight title. Jack Swagger defending against MVP. My money's on Jack Swagger all the way with a smoking hot babe like that. My money's on him. And next week, you're going to see one-on-one -on -one retro Randy Price take on Trevor Murdoch. Woo! Trevor Murdoch just may take him to school. And also a triple threat for the World Class Revolutionary title as the champion, the second son, Damon Windsor, puts that title on the line against El Fuego Del Sol and Prince Mahali. And also, Jeff Jarrett, the king of the mountain, returns here to World Class Revolution. I can't wait to see what Jarrett has to say. Well, fans, last week, you saw Tataka take on Malico. It was an amazing, amazing match. And what an amazing specimen Tatanka is. The man still has, he's still just as good as he was when he was at the peak of his performance all those years ago. I should know, because I've actually been in the ring with him several times and he seems to just get better and better. Well, Tatanka certainly has made an impression here in World Class Revolution. And with the victory that he had over Malico, I know that he has more and more that he wants to accomplish here in WCR. So. 
We have found a way to get Tatanka backstage here with me and Gene Oakland. As you can see, the footage here from what's going on from last week. Tatanka picking up Malico, dropping him back with that papoose drop. And there's the one, two, and the three. Oh, he cheated. It was a great victory for Tatanka. Standing by right now, Tatanka and Mean Gene Okerlund. Let's go to hear what they have to say. All right, Mean Gene Okerlund here. A world-class revolution is happening here, and it's happening now, and you can be part of it. Boy, I'm seeing names like Lex Luger, The Legends, Jeff Jarrett. Uh, oh, oh, wait a minute. Tatanka, come on in. Tatanka, you're in with the crowd right now, and by golly, you're looking good. What's up? Thank you, me, Gene Oakland. It's a pleasure to see you. Honored to be on the same event. Tatanka is here to represent the Native American nation. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Arrow Club. You know who we are, and we know who you are. But my brother Hawk and myself have a proposition for you. How about you join our tribe, the Arrow Club? You come help us make America native again. Whoa, what, was, what about that, Tatanka? I love the shirt. Aero Club, much respect. We have the same blood, proud Native American blood. Same ancestors, same belief, same tribes, representing a great nation of people. But just because we're Native American blood doesn't mean we have to be on the same team. You know, it's, it's funny you should say that. How about you come watch our match tonight and we'll make you proud and want to join the Arrow Club. Tatanka? <laughs> A rather unusual request. Will he or won't he? Eyeball the Arrow Club. Ha! Huh, you gotta be part of it. Well, fans, that really ups the game here for this particular match because coming up next, the World Class Tag Team Championship on the line, Von Erich's Aero Club. What's gonna happen? The fastest rising professional wrestling company in the world wants to partner with you. Learn more today by contacting Universal Wrestling Company at yahoo.com. a long association with the Von Erich family, fighting side by side, fighting against them. The Iceman, King Parsons, a man that many people consider the very first black world heavyweight champion. And he has made it out here ahead of the Von Erichs. And I'm sure that he's going to be watching very closely. Oh man, listen, listen to that. that. That takes me back so long. Here in Iceman, come out to the, the strains of We Are Family. Bringing back a whole lot of memories for me from the Sportatorium days. Iceman looking great, juking and jiving all around. Also one of the Blackbirds. I don't know if you remember that yes, from back in the day. I remember his association uh, and, and making that team the Blackbirds. I thought you were professional wrestling beard of knowledge. I, I am. I was waiting to put that out later, but I went with what you what you gave me there. We can work together on this. AC on the back. The very famous catchphrase, like Mama says, it bees that way sometimes. Mercy! That's right. It is great to see the Iceman here. It's going to be even better when the uh, Von Erics come out with those World Tag Team Championships. Yeah. Iceman here making sure that everybody gets a little bit of love and appreciation. Sit in front row. Because they are all family to him. Now Iceman got his nickname, Al? Actually, yes. He used to carry ice for a living. That's right. He looks like he's having a lot of fun. You know, it's oh. great to see these guys making a comeback. Uh, it brings back a lot of memories for a lot of these fans our age and, and older. And introduces the new the new generation to these types of uh, legends of 
back in the day. Absolutely, because we never want the history of professional wrestling to be forgotten. And it's people like Iceman King Parsons, it's people like Kevin Von Erich, it's, it's people all that we have had, Scott Steiner and, and, and Tatanka, that have paved the way for all the new generation of world-class revolution talent to be able to get in that ring. And Iceman King Parsons now in the ring. And still dancing it up. The crowd here has not forgotten the Iceman, and I guess he's uh, he's got a few words to say. All right, people now. Y'all know I'm here for a reason, and not for a season. Real class revolution wrestling right here tonight. I just want to know, did you enjoy you enjoying yourself? Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah. Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah. Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah. You know what? Hell, I am too. I know we sure are out. We're going to get on with it because we've been doing the thing tonight. So we're going to make it all right. So we're going to get it down. Y'all know when I speak, I speak the gospel. Like Mama says, and in that way sometimes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, man. I'm just so happy, man, to see all y'all out here tonight. Oh, we. This is what it's all about. WW who? Respectful. It's Kyle in the front, Hawk in the back. And the Arrow Club, as they so frequently have a tendency to do, interrupting Iceman Parsons and ruining the celebration. Take one more turn 
write one more chapter tonight. Fans, we got one more break. When we come back, the Tag Team Championships are on the line. Immediately following Saturday Night Live on NBC, World Class Revolution brings you the brightest stars in pro wrestling and the next to rise, including the Von Erics, Iceman King Parsons, Jack Swagger, Taya Valkyrie, Chavo Guerrero Jr., MVP, Lisa Marie Varon, The Arrow Club, Scott Steiner, Boom the Bounty Hunter, and many more. Witness classic content and join the revolution as we travel the nation. Visit worldclassprowrestling.com for more info. World Class Revolution, starting June 2nd after SNL on NBC. out of the way for this main event title match tonight. Well, let's get Mitch McCoy to uh, take care of that. Well, a few shenanigans there by the Arrow Club. Listen to the fans. Yeah. How disrespectful. Well, the fans certainly on the side of the Von Erics, and I'm sure that the Aero Club uh, have done nothing to endear themselves. Now, I don't, I'm not saying that, that some of the things they say are not correct. I mean, I, I completely understand their, their, their statement that they've been here, that they feel that their legacy has been ruined, but uh, there's a time and place for politics, and there's a time and place for wrestling. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for... And it's for the World Class Revolution Tag Team Championships. <laughs> Introducing first the challengers. They are the team of the Chickasaw Warrior and the Bird of Play. Uh, they're accustomed to that. And their opponents, the reigning and defending World Class Revolution Tag Team Champions, Ross and Marshall. They're okay. Ross and Marshall Von Erich proudly holding aloft those tag team championships that I said they have held now for over one year. Defeating the Aero Club in May 2017 in Ardmore, Oklahoma for those championships. And the bell sounds we are underway here as it will be Coyote representing the Aero Club, and Ross representing the Von Erics. We may have new tag team champions tonight. We very well could, because both of these teams so evenly matched, they know each other so well, they have exchanged tag team championships before. So uh, it's quite possible, but I'm sure that that's not what the fans here want to see as we get a collar and elbow tie up. Now, uh, Al, I know that you had a, a very significant hand in the training of Coyote. Uh, he's a close associate of yours. In fact, at one point, I believe he was known as Coyote Johamet, a member of USA. And uh, talk about your association with, with Coyote and what you see with this, uh, with this young man. Definitely one of the best trainees that I have. I am so incredibly proud of him. And yes, he was a member of the USA, the United Sheik's Army. But now, look at him. He makes me so proud, and like I said, I'm calling it right now. New Tag Team Champions tonight. Well, they're going to have to put a game plan together better than they've put so far, because that standing drop kick from Ross Von Erich sends Kyle to the outside, joined by Kyle Hawk. Let me guess, let, let me guess, you're a Von Erich fan. I grew up a Von Erich fan. I grew up watching every Saturday night uh, on Channel 33 in Tulsa, Oklahoma. As we got the Superstation out of Dallas from 10 to 12, I watched championship sports. I watched all the Von Erics. I watched Brian Adias, Iceman King Parsons, Gary Young, Gary Hart. 
I watched all of them. And the Von Erics, they they were they were superheroes. Oh, I remember those days. Joe LaDuke, remember him? I do. Oh my. I do indeed. A Canadian butcher. And a tag here. Here comes Kyle Hawk. Really, I think the more aggressive of the two members of the Arrow Club. He's he's certainly got a temper and he's not one to hold back with what he feels. Uh, either in the way that he says it or the way he carries it out physically. And he will match up now with the larger of the two Von Eriks. And look at the power of Marshall Von Erick as he perches Kyle Hawk, no pun intended there, on the top rope. But back him off, ref. Back him off. Well, Kyle's about backed himself off that top rope and down the side. And uh, you're not going to win a shoving contest with Marshall Von Erich. You'll notice that Marshall, much like his father, wrestles barefoot. Not only that, but Marshall is a spinning image of his grandpa. And I'm not talking about Waldo here. <laughs> well, that, that wouldn't be his grandpa. That would be his great uncle. But yes, he definitely looks, uh, definitely looks like... Big Daddy Fritz, the patriarch of the Von Eric family, and a big spinning discus, much like his Uncle Kerry. But only good enough to keep Kyle down for one. And now we see the tag team continuity on the part of the Von Eric brothers. As an Irish whip in, and a big standing drop kick by Marshall Ross now in for the pin. One, and only good for one. Von Erichs continue to press that advantage. Irish whip corner to corner. Here comes Ross Von Erich colliding with Kyle. That was a stiff knee. Man, Kyle down out flat and somehow able to get the shoulder up before the three count. Don't sell these guys short. They're, they're tougher than you think. I will never sell the Arrow Club short. They are outstanding competitors. They, they absolutely are. I just don't just, I don't agree with the thing, some of the things that they say and the way that they carry out uh, what they do in the ring. And it looks like, again, because these two teams have faced each other so much, they know what's coming. The Von Erics know what's coming from the Arrow Club and have been able to counter every single offensive move. And now, Ross in the corner. Marshall following up right behind. Snapmare out there by Marshall Rock with a Ross with a kick from the front. And standing mood salt. Just in time for the save. Just in time. Now well, that may very well be true. It, it could have been that Marshall could have gotten the three count and we would have had another chapter penned in this war. But it's gonna match, it's gonna continue as Marshall drags Kyle back into the corner, tags in Ross. And Von Erics remain in control. Al, do you think we're going to see an Iron Claw tonight? I hope not. I hate that thing. I've been on the receiving end of the Iron Claw many, many times by all the Von Erics, including their dad. And now Kyle Hawk, with the attention of the referee, allowing Coyote on the outside to blindside Ross. He bumped into him. He bumped into Coyote. Well, if he'd stayed in his corner, that would never have happened. And now Ross Von Eric on the outside. And you can see him holding the back of his head. You would stick up for the Von Erics. Well, the Arrow Club need to get Ross back in the ring. They can't win the titles on a count out. But I think that before being run back in, Kyle going to dish out a little extra punishment. All right, Kyle now, now with the pin. But notice the ring awareness on the part of Ross, because even before the referee can get over to make the pinfall count, Ross with his leg on the rope. Well, you know, wrestling's in their blood, so they're going to know how to maneuver themselves around that ring, that's for sure. Ross maneuvering around the ring now, but not the way he wants to, trying to roll away from the onslaught of stomps there by Coyote. And now Coyote just straight right hands over now with a pinfall, hook of the leg, one, two, and only good for two. It truly amazes me how far Kyle has come in this business, and now with this tag team partner, I see big things happening for the Arrow Club, CN. They are certainly a very highly accomplished and in-demand tag team, and when you add in the, the third associate of Desi Dorada, uh, when we, we saw the action earlier with the women, uh, Tanil Dashwood and, and Marianne Alexander, uh, Alize, excuse me, 
Um, Desi Dorada is certainly going to be a, a threat to any female competition here in World Class Revolution as well. Truly the pride of the Native American nations. As, we, as you know, Desi Dorada, she's from a tribe in somewhere in California, but this young man here is from the Sioux tribe, and of course, Kyle from the Chickasaw Nation. So, representatives of all different Indian nations, and there it is. There it is. Slow count, ref, slow count. Well, the cadence has been consistent, I think, from the referee, but Ross certainly in deep, deep trouble as he is trapped on the wrong side of the ring. The Aero Club doing a great job of cutting that ring in half. Tag Team Wrestling 101. And now a double chop, a double dropping chop. Well, who McDaniel used to do that chop? I think that ref is from El Dorado. They don't know how to count down there, do they? I, I'm not really aware of the uh, educational opportunities in El Dorado, Arkansas, but I'll be glad to look into that. As Coyote now cinches in the rear chin lock, and Marshall has a long way to go here. He has got to find some way to get back on a vertical base to break this hole and make it to his corner. You know what they call a pretty girl in El Dorado? A tourist. To all the El Dorado fans who are listening, I apologize. The, the words there are from Alpha Rod and do not represent World Class Revolution. Uh, Ross now being draped over that second row and choked out by Coyote. And now brings it back again into the home corner, makes the tag. The tag team continuity that we saw so much of from the Von Erics in the first part of this match now seems to be uh, being demonstrated by the Aero Club. And again, significant of the fact that these two teams know each other so well. Let's call it what it is, CM. The Von Erics are in trouble. They are. I, I will agree with you here that they are. But Ross now, he can see his brother. He's reaching out there. And, and, and Marshall, with a significant height advantage over his brother, but Marshall also with a temper there as he gets into the ring. And that allows, look what's going on behind here. What's going on? What's going on? Well, perfectly legal in my book. Well, I don't believe that there was actually a legal tag. There's a legal tag. As Kyle mounts to the top rope, comes down, drops the chop. As Kyle had him perched on the knee. And this well could be it. Do we have new tag team champions right here? Nope, not yet. What part of all this fear and love and war did you not get, CM? What part? They've got to do what they got to do to get those titles back, no matter what. Well, they, they are certainly living up to that idea. And look who has made his way to the uh, aisle. Tatanka has come out, and he appears to be cheering on the Aero Club. Oh. Look at Ross, though. Deadly, deadly suplex there. And Tatanka keeping his distance, but I mean, I can't be certain, but it certainly seems as if he is showing favoritism and, and, and encouragement to the Aero Club. As both men are down, both men looking for the tag. Coyote with the tag on one side. And Tatanka looking on as Marshall Von Eric has made his way into the ring. Big elevation there. That body drop, beautiful. Marshall now in the corner. He's got Kyle in his sights, but he charges in just a little too slowly. Kyle off the top, Marshall catches him, takes him over, power slam, one, two, and Kyle with the save at the last moment. And all the talk he can do here is look on in astonishment. We have each member, uh, one member of each team out on the floor. Yeah, two in, two out. And I do believe that the legal men still at this point are Marshall and Kyle Hawk. The talk observing, but keeping a distance. I can't tell from, from his face here. I, I'm not certain if he's if he's happy with what he sees, if, if he's concerned with what he sees. But whatever it is, there's a kick from Marshall putting Kyle Hawk down in the corner. I assure you, he's oh, happy. Oh, did you hear Marshall? 
He oh, asked no. the crowd, oh, do no. you want the claw? The dreaded claw. And Marshall waiting for Kyle to turn around. Oh, goes for the claw, but Kyle, Kyle's blocked it. Kyle has blocked it, but it is inches away from being cinched onto the forehead of Kyle Hawk. Oh, what a... Is that a low blow? No, that was a knee to the gut. I couldn't quite tell from the camera angle that we have, but whatever it was, it broke the claw attempt. And now, Kyle motioning for Tatanka to come to the ring. But Marshall back up on his feet. Kyle pleading with Tatanka, saying, I need, I need your help. And I don't think he realizes the trouble he's in. There's the claw, the iron claw. And Marshall picking Kyle up, driving him down with the claw bomb. for the Von Erics as they retain the World Class Tag Team Championship. Well, that just ruined my night. Well, I'm sure that you'll find some way to uh, recuperate before next week, but it's been a huge, huge night tonight for the Von Erics, Bryce May King Parsons. These are still the World Class Tag Team Champions. Not for long, not for long. The title reign continues. And the Von Erichs signifying their appreciation to the crowd. I guess Tatanka did not particularly care for what he saw from the Aero Club because he did not come to their assistance at all. We're broadcast journalists. We need to be impartial. Quit being so partial. Fans, thank you for tuning in this week. I'll be sure to be here next week as the revolution continues to be televised.